Good morning everybody. It's Park Rat Pat. Rainy day so we've had to wait it out. I got Wayne with me again today. We're out here at the 1930s 1960 permission where I got that really cool token yesterday that I almost missed because I thought it was a washer. But uh, we're going to hammer in between the raindrops and see what kind of good stuff we can come up with today. I'll keep you posted at the first hole. Okie dokie, we're still dodging raindrops. Going along here, getting a lot of old timey pull tabs. Got a signal down here in the 40s, went for it. Pulled up this old chunk of metal. Says right on it, dispose of properly. Apparently this is properly. All right, on we go. Okay, I'm over on the other edge of the driveway here. And I got a signal that is just a solid 19. Not registering anything else, so I'm hoping it's a nickel. Doesn't seem to be too deep. So let me see if I can do this somewhat on camera. And uh, we'll discover it together. Okay. All right, let's uh, take a look now. It doesn't look like a nickel to me. Nope, just another dispose of properly. All right, on we go. Okay, I am back out by the road here. And, uh, getting a lot of crashy signals every once in a while. It was jumping good to the 70s. I had to go down about 7 inches. 1967 dime. Missed silver by two years, but I'm happy to have a coin on the board for the day. Let's keep moving. All right. Haven't gotten much yet. I got that dime. I just checked in with Wayne. He's on the back side over there. Pulling lots of nails, but he managed to get a quarter a dime and a few pennies. So he's trucking along. I'm going to go to the far side of the yellow house here. Um, I found a spoon over there once, but the grass is fairly low. Should be easy to swing, and we'll see what else I can come up with. Persistence pays off. I came down to this section here. I'm on the back side of the house. Clothesline used to be over there. Lots of trash. Tons and tons of aluminum. Tons and tons of iron. I just pulled a little bitty piece of a nail about that long from down in there. And it was like, bah. So I started checking the plug and had to rip it apart. But there you go. Mercury dime. That is a beautiful one. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if we can catch a date on here. 1944, that's the year my mother was born. Awesome. Doesn't look like I hit it with a shovel or nothing. But uh, awesome find, awesome find. I know there's more good stuff out here. You just got to keep plugging away at it. All right. <laughs> Loving this. So we're both on the back side of the house here. I just got the silver dime over there. And Wayne starts swinging up here by the clothesline. Gets a banging signal, sounds good. Can't get it. You can hear something crunching. We're thinking, oh, hey, maybe it's the lid to a jar or something. And then I came over here with my shovel and really pried that out. I had said to him, hey, man, it could be an ax head. And sure enough, there it is. Big, beautiful ax head. That thing is freaking awesome. Definitely a good find. Absolutely. <laughs> That's going to weigh down your pouch a little bit. Oh, sweet. You're finding good stuff all day long. Okay. I'm not too far from where I found the, the Merc. And uh, picking up a lot of junk signals. Got something else was banging around in the 60s and I went for it and this is a bucket list item for me my first ever harmonica read it's not complete but that don't matter to me it is what it is and I, I love it that is that is awesome beautiful thing hopefully there's more of it out here but uh keeping this hunt going well now I've already filled in my hole but in the same hole just a little to the right Another piece of that harmonica reed. 
Man, this is turning into an awesome day. All right, on with the hunt. Well, we are having a great time out here. I'm still working over in that area where I found the harmonica reed. And Wayne got the axe head right about there. He's been working through this high grass, swinging it slow. He was just over here and got a 12 gauge shotgun shell. And not a minute later, he's like, hey, come on, check it out, man. And look what he pulled. Beautiful button here. That is awesome. I don't know much about military buttons. It looks like the uh, bird is standing on an anchor. It could be a navy button. Uh, it's two-piece, still got the shank. Beautiful condition, awesome find. This property is just a nice giving place, man. We're going to keep hunting on. I'll catch you at the next good item. Now we're still working at it. We're still pulling a lot of trash. Wayne's over there. He just uh, found him a nice 1944 wheat back. And a marble was uh, in the hole next to it. And then uh, I got a signal here which was sounding like a quarter, and I think it is. I can see it in the plug there. So, let's uh, take a look. It definitely a quarter. What year, though? Maybe y'all can see that better than I can. Let me do my, my fake eyeball focusing trick. Up, oh, it's a 94. Either way, it's a quarter. I'll definitely take that. All right, on to the next good target. All right, got me a shield penny. Not old, but happy to get another coin. All right, cruising on. A right. few feet away from where I got the uh, shield penny. It's got a nice 73 here. A little uh, 2015 dime. Awesome stuff. Hi, right, moving forward. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit more change out here. Getting rid of a lot of trash. A little signal down there sounded like a penny. Turned out to be this. I don't know, cap from something. But, uh, all right, and boy, super shiny. Feels like aluminum. But, uh, yeah, we'll check that out closer at home. Whew. I had to get right to the bottom of that hole there. Probably about four and a half, five inches, but that me another dime. This one looks to be a 2,000. Onward and upward. <laughs> Let's keep this day rolling. I had a, just got called over by Wayne. He was up here in the driveway. Again, it's a matter of the day, but uh, just, just got a signal out here. He found a kid's spoon. It says Puss in Boots on it. And on the back it says Regal Silver Company. Of course it was plated at one point, but a absolutely tremendous find. No doubt about it. This has been a great day. We'll get at you with the next good one. Well, we got another good one going here. Wayne's been working this area hard, real close to where he found the spoon. He pops out a thimble. Uh, can't read what it says on it, but I'm sure he can brush that up at home and uh, tell us about it later. Anyway. Another super find from this old property. Alright, just got me a beautiful lead sinker and a penny. Same little shallow area there. Doing good. I just got a cool signal here in the driveway. I thought it was going to be a penny. I got down there about an inch or so. It's a half of a dime, 1999. And it's the first time I've ever found a cut dime. I found plenty of pennies cut in half, and a few nickels and quarters that have been nicked, but first time I ever get a half a dime. Loving that. All right, I'll see you at the next one. All right, it is roundup time, and what a tremendously fun day it was. I got a lot of trash, but man, I got a lot of goodies too. I got a couple of bucket list items. And I'm pretty happy with that. I know Wayne got some bucket listers too. He got that axe head. He'd never found an axe head before. He got a thimble. He hadn't found a thimble before. I got that military button he, he found. It was really cool. So overall, he had a very good day. I got my first harmonica reed. And shortly after, found the rest of it. Um, I got a half a dime, which is a first for me. 
So I got like 69 cents here total, not counting that beautiful mercury dime. I have to excuse the dinging in the background. People are trying to message me. But 1944 Merc, and you can see the detail on this is just gorgeous. I mean, this wasn't highly circulated, that's for sure. And you can really, really make out on the back all the beautiful detail of this coin. So, super find. Awesome time out there. Great to get out with a friend and uh, do some hunting together. And just, you know, enjoy the company. So, super day. Bucket list, definitely. On the harmonica reed. And semi-bucket list, because it's the first Mercury I've ever pulled off of that property. And I know there's going to be more out there. So, had a super day. I'm going to put pictures of everything up at the end. Uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll be planting some more rat droppings soon. So I'll be informing you of uh, when and where. All right. God bless.